going on guys? Pass Young here. Today I wanted to show you this stagger machine build, the Wolf of Erd Tree. The show goes on! Why the wolf? Because of the blade. We're using the Royal Greatsword, which has a, an amazing weapon art and stagger potential. We're pairing that with the Great Blade Phalanx, which also has amazing stagger potential. So the two of them put together, and we're staggering the shit out of a lot of enemies. Now there's two different versions of this that I am running. I'm predominantly running the one with uh, uh, Great Blade Phalanx because of that additional stagger, and it's a ranged attack, So and it even auto-casts, so, you know, wow, how much easier could it possibly get? But I do have a variation that actually runs Golden Vow. Now, the Golden Vow version is something that you probably wouldn't be running until you were much higher levels 200 plus because you're just not going to have the points to put into faith um whereas you'll want to be spending them in vigor endurance mind uh, and strength and in strength and in predominantly you kind of want to make a quality build and go all the way up to 50 so 50 strength 50 in um and you also you're going to be taking hit <laughs> The weapon art is great. Uh, it has a uh, two-fold. It has that initial stagger on the flip, and then it has that burst AoE explosion, So, which does frost damage, um, which is really, really cool. It takes a while uh, to cast it. Um, it's, it's better than it used to be because it got buffed from uh, its vanilla version, but... Uh, it's still, it, it, it's it's something that you'll have to practice and get the timing of down. Once you do, it's not a problem. You can you can use this for, for anything in the game. So, anyway, let's get into what we're equipping. Obviously, the Royal Greatsword. Um, the Regal Scepter uh, is what we're using for our standard build. This would be from, you know, uh, uh, the level 1 character. This is the, the setup you'd want to go with as soon as you can acquire these weapons. I say level 1, obviously you don't have these at level 1, but what I mean by that is uh, the level 150 version. Uh, if you're not in a new game plus or new game plus plus and into the 200s, this is a great standard setup. Once you have these weapons, you'll want to get 50 strength and 50 int to really make these things shine. This here I use so that I can buff up with Golden Vow, and that would be, as I said, you'll have to have 25 points in faith, which you're probably not going to want to dump into a 150. So as far as the gear that I'm wearing, just a slave to Fashion Souls. So this is not, uh, uh, with the exception of these, uh, this is not actually practical gear. Um, we're level 281, so we can do whatever the hell we want. But um, you could wear, obviously, heavier armor, because you are going to take hits with this, uh, this weapon art. Uh, if you're not one-shotting it and the thing does survive through your multiple staggers, it's going to get its shots in. So you might want to go with a heavier armor setup, and you'd have to mix up your talismans as well if you want to do that. So Shard of Alexander, you're going to just want to always have on. This is going to help with your weapon art. Uh, this is a great one that I like to run... Um, for obvious reasons, its physical damage negation is the best uh, in the game. This here is very, very changeable. Um, we'll go over what we can change that to in a second. I like running this. You could use... Um, uh, this right here. Um, but... I just have the magic one, because the weapon art is magic damage. This does give you other... Um, uh, other stat raises. It raises, you know, the mind, the int, the faith, the arcane. Arcane doesn't matter at all. Uh, the faith doesn't matter at all uh, either, but you get more intelligence and you get more mind, which is nice, but um, when you're in the 280s, it doesn't really matter. You don't need this, so this is kind of a waste. Um, this is another option you could use. Uh, it gives you more life, which is always good, uh, more stamina, so this is a decent option. Um, if you're wearing heavy armor, this is a great option. If you don't... Uh, want to just, you know, fashion souls it up and you want to actually wear some practical stuff, there you go. There's a great option right there. Uh, what else? I, I don't use a lot of jump attacks. Uh, you could. I, I don't with this build. Um, if you don't have as much in mind, say you're running this at a lower level, uh, I, I have 50, so I have no problems whatsoever just casting, chain casting my weapon art. So I don't need this, but it's certainly an option if you are lower level or if you decided to pump more points into, you know, vigor or you wanted to put more into strength or int early on and you don't have as much mind. So that's obviously something you could go with. Um, this isn't terrible, but it's not really recommended. Uh, this is also uh, another option. It's always good to get an opener, but 
Um, you might want to... I, I don't know. You know, it's a viable option. You're not doing a lot of consecutive fast attacks, so no to this one. This is another viable option, so that, that's plenty of options there. You guys you guys know what you want to do, so I'm not going to tell you. This, obviously changeable. As a matter of fact, you'd probably be better off using something like this. Um, uh, obviously, if you're not at that 80 hard cap on strengthening, you could certainly put stuff in. Uh, you could put more into strength. You could put more into int with one of these. So, anyway, uh, as far as the physic goes... These are the green burst crystal is just always really good. I mean, stamina, uh, not not a sexy one, but it is a very viable one. It keeps you rolling, it keeps you dodging, it keeps you living. So, um, the magic uh, tier is obvious for obvious reasons. Your weapon art is a magical weapon art, so that one is, uh, in my opinion, not interchangeable. Um, what else do we have? Let's see. Let's go over the actual uh, stats here. Vigor. You could easily get away with 50. Um, even in a, a New Game Plus variant of this, you could easily get away with 50, 55. I like a chunkier health pool. Uh, mind. I, I would recommend at least having 30 to 35 in this. So you're going to want to prioritize it. You're, you're going to want to want to hit those uh, caps for your strength and int. But... You know, the weapon art is the real shining uh, star in this build, so you're going to want to be able to cast it uh, without having to potion all the time. So, endurance. Uh, you can get away with less endurance than this, um, just because this is such a high level. I happen to have 35. You could easily get away with 25. Uh, it, also, this is going to depend upon what type of gear you're going to want to wear. Um, if you want to, you want to be medium rolling, uh, so you want to have that mobility. So you want to have enough endurance for whatever gear you're wearing to be able to actually still medium roll. Dexterity, you don't need to put anything into dexterity at all. You just need to have uh, enough dex to actually equip the weapon. I believe it is 18 to actually equip the weapon. Uh, intelligence, again, you're going to want to take that to 50, uh, along with your strength for your quality build. Um, we're obviously over the hard cap of 80 for both of them. Faith, you don't have to put any into Faith or Arcane. The only reason I have some into Faith is because I like to have that other version um, with Golden Vow. Uh, it does actually output more damage on the initial uh, weapon flip and the AoE than it does uh, without it. And you do have that survivability, but as you'll see in the demonstration... Um, it, it, it leaves you a little more susceptible because you don't have that initial stagger from your uh, Great Blade Phalanx. So, uh, what else do we have to go over? I think that should be about it. I'm going to show you guys both of these versions um, right here, and then we'll get into some actual gameplay footage and show you what this does to the New Game Plus Plus game. So, let's uh, let's get to it. Thank <laughs> you. 